Okay, today we're going to take a look at graphing piecewise functions on any one of the TI-84 series calculators. Um, so I have a piecewise function sitting right here, and we are going to go about entering each piece of this piecewise function. Alright, so I'm going to go into my Y equals button, and that's where I'm going to start inputting all of my equations. Alright, now I have X squared, so I'm going to enter X raised to the second power. Now I have to consider this condition. It says if x is less than zero. So I am going to hit the divide button next to separate the equation from what I'm entering for my condition. Now the conditions must always be entered in parentheses. So I'm going to do left parentheses and then I'm going to do x. I have to do x is less than zero. To get to those inequality symbols there in the test feature, I'm going to have to hit second because that's blue. That's going to get to my blue test feature right there. And then I will hit the math button. Now, my series of inequalities come up. I need less than. Less than is a 5 in my list, so I'm going to hit 5. And as you can see, it put the less than symbol in there. Okay, now I need to finish that condition, zero, and then I'm going to close, right parentheses, close. All right, so on my first line right there, I have entered the first line of my piecewise function. Now I can arrow down, and I am now going to put in the second condition here. I have a negative one. Now I'm going to hit the divide by button in order to put this condition in. Now, this is a compound condition, all right, and it's an a compound inequality and it's an AND inequality so we're gonna have to put a little bit more effort into entering this in the calculator. I again have to do left parentheses alright now I'm gonna take the left part of this the left part of this says X is greater than or equal to zero okay so that's what I'm gonna enter I'm gonna do X now I need the inequality symbol the way I get that is I do second test my inequality symbols come up I need to pick the number 4 greater than or equal to and then 0. Now since it is a compound inequality and it is an AND inequality I'm going to go back to where I found those inequalities. I'm going to hit second and then the math or the test button and if I arrow over I have a choice for logic. Those would be my logic commands such as AND or so on. So I this is an uh, and inequality so I'm going to select number one for and. Alright now I have to put the second part in. The second part of this inequality is x is less than or equal to three so I need x. I need to go back in and get my inequalities so second test. Alright this time I need less than or equal to which is number six and it's less than or equal to three and then I've got to remember to close parentheses alright so in that second part I have the second part of my piecewise function I'm gonna arrow down now and I'm gonna enter my last part of my piecewise function so I'm gonna do x plus one now for the condition I gotta remember always hit the divide by button and now I can go to enter my condition left parentheses x and then I need greater than, so I'm going to go second test button. The greater than is number three, so I'm going to press three. And that got me my greater than symbol. Now I need three, and then close parentheses. Okay, so now that I have entered that in the calculator, I'm going to go look at the graph. I can hit the graph button up here in the top right hand corner. So I hit graph and piecewise functions take sometimes a little bit of time. All right. Now, there we have it. We have the three sections. All right. That's a piecewise function. We have three sections. We have three sections over here. And hopefully you can clearly recognize here's a little curve. All right. That's representing our x squared. And it's just the parabola to the left of zero. Then this right here is our straight line. Okay. Coming from the middle section. And then we have a line in slope intercept form positive slope of one and that's coming from our third condition alright now the one thing that you do have to pay attention and notice is that you cannot see any open or closed dots in the gra uh, graphing calculator window okay so um, that you would have to if you were sketching by hand you would have to do that on your own and if you're fortunate enough to have a color TI-84 graphing calculator I have a another sample here I want to show. 
Okay, so what I did on this, the exact same function, all right, all I did was color code the parts of the graph. If you were on a graphing calculator, the first one would be in blue, and that portion of the graph would come up in blue, and then the next one, if you've got it set to red, would come up in red, and then that third section would come right up there in green. And on this one, I added the dots that we would need. On the parabola, for x is less than zero, all right, I need an open dot, so that's why the open dot right there. All right, both of the inequality symbols in the uh, horizontal line portion, the middle portion here, are solid dots, so both those would have solid dots. And then on the last part, which is a line, x is greater than three, I need another open dot. And you can clearly see the picture between this, which would be your standard, you know, black and white screen. It's not showing the dots and it's not showing the color. But on the newer color calculators, you would get something that would look like this. So basically that pretty much covers how to graph a piecewise function on one of the TI-84 graphing calculators.